Thank you. Now to Commitment 2024 coverage. The spring election is underway as voters head to the polls all across the state. 12 News reporter Madison Moore is joining us live at Holly Environmental School in Milwaukee. Madison, a big question on the ballot for Milwaukee voters is that $252 million referendum for Milwaukee Public Schools. Yeah, Jaron, and that is a big reason why a lot of voters are heading out to the polls today. I spoke with many voters this morning who say that $252 million referendum is one of the main reasons they are coming out and deciding whether they want to increase their property taxes to help fund the largest school district in the state. Hear ye, hear ye, the polls are now open. Polls up opened at 7 this morning. Milwaukee voters making their way through a lengthy ballot that includes the presidential primary race, many local races, and that big ask from Milwaukee Public Schools. Now, the school district says this $252 million budget gap has been created from years of underfunding by the state legislature. They say if the referendum doesn't pass, there will be major cuts to teacher salaries, jobs, and specialty programs. However, many business leaders in the community have been outspoken about their opposition to the referendum saying they're concerned about how the money will actually be used. I asked voters today what decision they came to. So I'm a big fan of public education and I, and I uh, definitely support uh, uh, spending the additional money on, on public schools. Let's do the job that's at hand. Take care of that. The money is not the problem. We got to get these kids back in school. Now, as you can, as you heard just there, voters on both sides of the aisle for that referendum. Now, it is important to note that Milwaukee uh, voters, they did approve an $87 million referendum for MPS back in 2020. This, of course, one of those big races and, and uh, issues on the ballot. We'll be keeping a close eye on until the polls, polls close at 8 tonight. Of course, plenty of time to get out and make your voice heard. Again, those polls closing at 8 tonight. Madison Moore reporting from a wet and windy polling place, Holly Environmental School in Milwaukee. Madison, thank you. There are more than 90 school and public safety referenda on ballots across the state today, including in McGuanago, Pewaukee, Greendale, and South Milwaukee. Also today, voters in Milwaukee and Kenosha will elect a mayor. In Milwaukee, incumbent Cavalier Johnson is going up against David King. And in the city of Kenosha, David Bogdala and Lydia Spotswood are running to replace current mayor John Antaramian, who is not seeking re-election. There are also two constitutional amendments on today's ballot. One would make it illegal to accept private grant money to help administer state elections. Another allows only election officials designated by law to administer elections. It's also the presidential primary. Joe Biden and Donald Trump will be on the ballot today despite already clinching the delegates needed for their party's nominations. New this morning, President Biden is headed to Wisconsin next week. Biden will travel to Madison on Monday. This will be his fourth stop in Wisconsin since December. According to the White House, he'll talk about lowering costs for Americans. Meanwhile, former President Donald Trump is set to hold an Election Day rally in Green Bay later this evening. 12 News political director Matt Smith is in Green Bay this morning with a look ahead. Hi, Jaron. Still rain here in Green Bay. Snow expected this afternoon. Winds 40 to 50 miles per hour when former President Donald Trump arrives here for his first rally in Green Bay in Wisconsin, the 2024 presidential cycle. Trump first expected in Michigan this afternoon, holding two events in Michigan and Wisconsin. Two states Trump won in 2016 but lost in 2020. Trump on the Republican primary ballot here in Wisconsin today. He is not alone. Still alongside him, Chris Christie, Vivek Vivek Ramaswamy, Ron DeSantis, and Nikki Haley, all candidates who have dropped out. The question will be what percentage Trump gets here in Wisconsin tonight, as he is expected to speak in Green Bay around 5 o'clock. Jaron. And 12 News caught up with the chair of the Wisconsin Elections Commission, urging people to make a plan to vote today. While you will be able to vote in all the contests in the nonpartisan section of your ballot, which are going to include things like judicial and local contests, you will only be able to vote in one of the presidential preference primaries, either the Republican or the Democratic primary. You cannot vote in both. If you do, your vote in the presidential primary will not be counted. Again, polls are open until 8 o'clock tonight. If you are in line at that time, you can still vote. You do need to bring a current photo ID that has your name on it. You can find your polling place and see exactly what's on your ballot with our voter's guide. You can find it all right now on the 12 News app.